For a taste of royalty, head to 120 King Street. Just look at that wood. Week thus far tapes at the King's Head Pub every Monday live at 8 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the week thus far. Thank you for joining us. Wow, what do you think of that first half, John? It was really fun. That was something else. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking real sweet. It's like, it like ice cream that was melted and then frozen again and then made into a popsicle. Yeah, that first half was kind of like ice cream that... Our first guest this evening... <laughs> Good try. He's a fantastic gentleman. You can see him out in the community at charitable events as well as hauling on the field and behind the counter. Give it up for the shawarma king and the football, also king, Abi Khan. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for coming out, man. Have a seat. That handshake is like a robot hand. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Your forearm is as big as John's spine. <laughs> yep. yep, it is. Uh, Avi Khan, you just came from work. Yep. How are things this evening? How is the restaurant tonight? Well, tonight sucked because it was snowing outside. But it was good. Business is good. Yeah, business yep. is good. Yep. You're selling shawarma. Selling lots of shawarmas. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Even if it's a snowstorm, swarm is great, right? Yeah, I mean, we sold about 100 today, and that's pretty good on a snowy day. Oh, absolutely, yeah. man. I couldn't even dream of selling yeah, 100 shawarmas. Like, it's a lot of shawarmas. If you gave me a month to sell 100 shawarmas, I probably couldn't even do it. I will give you five days to eat 100 shawarmas. That sounds like a challenge. Yeah. Eat 100 yeah. Yeah. Five, five days. Eat 100. Yeah. Five days. You want shawarmas. me to eat? Five shawarmas, no, 20 shawarmas a day. 20 shawarmas a day, day. shawarma con will pay for it. Boom. Free. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great. That was my problem before. I just made up that bet <laughs> right now. <laughs> what if All he right. doesn't do it? What does he... What, what happens if... Then I'm the host of the show. Yeah. <laughs> and you make shawarmas all day. <laughs> you know what? I'm starting to feel a little worried here. Yeah. I'm starting to... <laughs> I'm surprised you're even using shawarma as a weapon. You could just crush my skull if you wanted. Yeah, yeah, you probably could. <laughs> <laughs> You're a wee little guy. Now, we've been talking a lot about shawarma. I like to think I'm very, uh, you know, slender. I can fit in the place. I think my left leg weighs more than you. How much do you weigh? I do. <laughs> He's like scared of me right yeah, now. Alright, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> You're the host, take control. Do, do you want to know my weight? Do you want to know my weight? 125. No way. Not 45. Nope. 35. Keep going up, my friend. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. 165 right now. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. And you weighed yeah. that when you were nine or what? Yeah. Yeah. That's because I have a couple pork chops slipped in my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I want people to think I have a bigger chest. Um, now, we've talked a lot about shawarma, but you, uh, first of all, were a professional football player. Yes. 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 And I think a lot of people are curious. How did you get into shawarma? Like, did you notice that footballs look a lot like shawarma? And you were sick of <laughs> snapping them to other football players. You want to start yeah. snapping shawarma into yeah. happy people's mouths? No, you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put something in your mouth a little bit later. <laughs> <laughs> a shawarma, a shawarma. A shawarma. Yeah. Put a shawarma, yeah. shawarma. Of course, yeah. yeah. Why? No, that's what I was getting Put at. Put food um, in his mouth. Yeah, yeah. 100 shawarmas in Ideally, five years. Ideally, it will be food. Yes. yes, yes. No, um, I eat a lot of food, no secret. Uh, football players eat a lot of food. Whenever we travel on the road, we eat a lot of food, and we always hit up shawarma joints. I'm from Ottawa, the unofficial shawarma capital of the world, like Winnipeg is the unofficial slurpee capital of the world, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah that's yeah, a thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Ottawa, so I grew up in Ottawa. We eat a lot of shawarmas. Uh, as my career came to an end, I said, People like shawarmas. I like shawarmas. Let's open a shawarma joint. And it was literally that easy. Really? Yeah. We're going to make yeah. Winnipeg the shawarma capital and take the title from Ottawa, right? Yes. Yeah. Right? We'll have a, sl a Slurpee with a shawarma. Yeah. We should have a shawarma Slurpee. <laughs> <laughs> 
You eat a hundred of those in five yeah. days. <laughs> <laughs> drink a drink hundred of those, yeah. Oh, man. I bet there'd be cats eating those things. Everywhere. Cats love <laughs> salt. Yeah. Um, so that, yeah, that's how easy it was. It was, I like shawarmas, people like shawarmas, people like me, hopefully they come eat my shawarmas. Would you say you have the best shawarma in town? Uh, mm. I would say I am getting to being the best shawarma okay. in town. I mean, there's a couple places that have been around for a long time, so uh, no disrespect to them. They've been around 10, 20 years. I have been open not even two months, so I hope to get there. I think we have a very, very, very good product. We offer a different spin on shawarmas. We make it very modern. We make it very trendy. We're in the exchange. Uh, we have nice, bright lights. Our bathrooms are clean. Yeah. That's something else, yeah. yeah. Hey, you know what? For the exchange? Oh, I have a question about football. Okay, sure. Can I ask a question about football? Um, do professional football players like look down on people who play touch football? Yes. <laughs> That's what I thought. Without a doubt. Yes, sir. Yeah. Even yeah. Recre like recreational. Yeah, touch we laugh at all of them. It's hilarious. Because oh, wow. they, they take it so seriously. <laughs> they and, do. And they do. They really do. There's touch football and there's flag football, and they'll tell us all about it, and we don't give <laughs> up. How many times crap. have you been? We don't give a crap. How many no. times have you been invited to play with some oh, guys flag football? A million team? times, a million. Yeah. it's hilarious. Have and you ever done it? I have, and we just destroy them. And you just tackle them. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's comical. <laughs> Com true story. We went out to, to play in a flag football tournament, and I think uh, we didn't get one point scored against us, and we won every game by like hundred points. <laughs> it was absolutely insane. It was just like, I mean, this is what we do for a living. Man, just that, like, I mean, even if you remove football, just that element. I wish I had in something, you know, where I could go out on some weekend and just smash a bunch of people. Well, I mean, it was literally, it was guys, it was guys your size trying to beat me up. <laughs> yeah. In touch, and I was like, really, this is going to happen. Like, Man, you really we, gotta, this is gonna... we can only use our words, you right? Know, we got yeah. nothing else. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> thinking about shawarmas. <laughs> Good. Yeah. <laughs> Just, that's all I got right in my head uh, right cool. now. Uh, now, shawarma. I got a question for you. This is from our producer. Uh, if the 2011 Winnipeg Blue Bombers yeah. were the cast of Sex and the City, <laughs> <laughs> first of all, which one would you be? <laughs> and second of all, fill in the other three. Well, I've never, I, I don't know, I, honestly, I haven't really seen this show. Isn't there a blonde girl, what's her name? Uh, She's the one. Yeah, so that would be Doug Brown for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Without a doubt. What's her, what's, uh, I don't know her name. Everyone knows who I'm talking about, the blonde one. I don't one. know, what is her name? Sarah Jessica Samantha. Parker. Samantha. Yeah, what did you say? Sarah Jessica Parker. That's it, I think. One. That's Doug Brown. Yeah. We'll make sure. I'm, I'm definitely the, I don't know, I really don't know. There's a brunette. I, I assume that's me because I'm brown and I got dark hair. Yeah, you're one of the boyfriends. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm the good looking guy. <laughs> that sleeps with everyone, doesn't he? <laughs> I'm that guy on the show yeah. that sleeps with all four of them. Yeah, I was thinking Dr. McDreamy, but that's a different show, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. yeah sure Grey's sure. Anatomy. Oh. Dr. McDreamy. You, uh, <laughs> when you look at me, that's what I think people think. What, do you finish the game? You're like, I gotta watch Grey's Anatomy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. And know all You're the characters. You're not reviewing tape. <laughs> that's a great show. <laughs> you shut your mouth. Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> in a former life, I would have been on that show. <laughs> you you right. grew up in Ottawa, right? Yes. So, have you ever, why, like, why do you stay in Winnipeg? Uh, people always wonder that when people stay here. <laughs> <laughs> You're not playing football. <laughs> no, good question. Um, why do I stay here? Well, I mean, honestly, Ottawa's not much different than Winnipeg. It's still cold. It's a little cleaner than Winnipeg, I'd say. <laughs> it's the capital, so they make it cleaner. But I, I mean, I really like Winnipeg. I, I love it. My house is here. My lady's here. Uh, my restaurant's here now. I have about four or five fans in the city, so that keeps me really Because <laughs> I hope to run into those four people one day. Um, <laughs> And it's great. I love it here. It's 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 a cheap cost of living. It's uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, what it is. I was say We got one. We got one. We got one. We got one. <laughs> it is friendly Manitoba. It yeah. is true. And I got my restaurant here. I can't open up a yeah. shawarma shop in the shawarma capital of the world. Good point. Well, exactly. good is that going to do me? I got to open it here where there's only two or three. It's got to be fresh. It's got to be unique. Exactly. Got to be in a town where if you're in Vancouver and you're not doing so good, it's a pretty good option. 
I don't, even, I don't know what, what Vancouver has to do with any of this. I'm just yeah. saying, cost of living is low. Just, oh, okay, yeah. yes, cost yeah. of living, yeah. If you can't afford Vancouver. No, I really like it here. I forget it. it. I like All it. Right. I've got friends here and stuff. It's fun. Good, and that's good. Whew, good save. And we're happy yeah. to have you, Abhi Khan. Thank you. And we would like to have you for a very further longer. <laughs> and, and you owe us 100 shawarmas for Dante. Remember? I will get you 100 shawarmas. You come to the shop, we'll have 20 a day. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'll even make them regulars. Yeah. Sure. We'll do it. We will do it. I will 20 come regulars will a day. You eat them. Eat 20 of them. You finish them all, and whatever it costs, I will donate that money to a charity of your choice. But you got to finish yeah. them all. Yeah. Oh. Would you like to shout out a charity before we go? I know you, you work with lots of charities. Uh, Crohn's and colitis. Uh, I, I suffered from colitis, for those who don't know, almost died a couple years ago. And wow. uh, the Crohn's and colitis kind of saved my life. So shout out to Crohn's, the pooping disease. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me like it is. Avi Khan, everybody. Thanks Thank very you. much. Yeah. We'll be right back with Smoking Tiger. Tyler Penner. He looks for change at the beach without a metal detector. He raps along with his favorite artists and doesn't not say the N-word. He's lied about voting in every province. Tyler Penner is the most regular jack-off in the world. I don't normally drink beer, but when I do, I probably stole it from your house. <laughs>